hope you're all really well. Welcome to the first Christmassy video of the year. It's officially the most magical season of them all and I thought today we could get ourselves in the Christmas spirit by going on a Christmas decor shopping day. Plan to make quite a few stops today. Um, I really want to go to the range. I haven't been to any of these shops yet so I haven't seen any of the Christmas decor so I'm just feeling like I feel sick like it's Christmas Eve. Um, very excited to see the new in bit. So I want to go to the range, maybe pop into B&M. Um, I also want to go to Next Home to get the next festive spice, which is one of the nicest Christmas scents. And I feel like it's not Christmas without that scent. So I want to get a few reed diffusers and candles. I also want to pop to Matalan as well. Um, they always have really beautiful Christmas bits. And actually I have a list of things that I actually need to get. I've had to make a list this year because what I will do, I'll just buy everything. And I don't need everything because I've got loads of stuff from last year. As you guys know, I bought loads of bits from Zara like late December last year. So I have like a lot of Christmas decor. I think I'm doing a slightly different theme for my tree this year. I just need to pick up a few bits. So I need some nice ribbon. For the tree i'm planning on doing some kind of like really beautiful ribbon thing <laughs> with the tree i need to find out how to do that um but yeah i need some ribbon i need some statement baubles in the two colors that i think i'm gonna do the tree just like some really special ones um i also need some candles <laughs> i need some christmas candles i don't have any and candles are my life so i need lots of christmas candles but i might wait until we go on a home sense trip to get the majority of those because home sense candles are just up there they're amazing um and i also need some like ornaments i don't feel like i have many christmasy ornaments and i feel like we have a lot of shelves and we have our fireplace i feel like a lot more space for like little christmasy ornament bits so i want to try and get some of those um but yeah it's going to be a very festive day i hope this video gets you guys in the christmas spirit and i'm really looking forward to spending the day with you guys <laughs> was the range and oh my god it was amazing they had christmas music on they had so much amazing stuff i remember going last year and they didn't have just half as much like oh my god it was so good if you guys are looking for beautiful baubles that look expensive that are like real statement baubles but they're like £1.50, then definitely have a look in the range. Um, I picked up exactly what I needed and I love it when that happens. You see something and you're like, that is exactly what I need. Um, I got a few baubles, I got a few other bits, which I will show you when I get home a little bit later on. But they had so much, so affordable and yeah, so many beautiful pieces. So I didn't pop into B&M today. I think I'm gonna save that for another day um because i don't feel like it's gonna have anything that i need today i feel like b&m is more of a place for um like gift sets and like little bits you know like food items and stuff like that and i'm kind of trying to not buy stuff today and actually buy stuff that i need so i'm gonna go to b&m in a different video with you guys so next stop is gonna be next home and then tk maxx um i'm really looking for a certain color and fabric bauble which is going to be my I don't know whether I want to say I kind of want to keep it as a surprise but I really want to tell you my theme for this year it's it's nothing too different but it's way more festive and I'm really excited to see what it looks like but guys if you are not feeling festive which you know might be the case seeing as we are very early this year um but if you're just feeling like a little bit down go Christmas decor shopping it's the biggest 
mood booster honestly i was in my element walking around the range bopping to the christmas music it was just it was a great time um so yeah we're gonna go to next home next and then tk max was incredible please go to next home i feel like they didn't have all of their christmas stuff out like there wasn't too much but what they did have was so nice then i popped over to tk maxx i didn't actually get anything from tk maxx the one local to me the home bit is tiny so there isn't really much in there but again i think it's very early i must remember it's very very early but i'm just about to head over to the final stop of the day which is Matalan and I've got high hopes for Matalan if they've got all of their stuff I'm unsure if they're gonna have everything but we'll have a look and then I will show you everything I got when we get home <laughs> all cozy and I've just made myself a little hot chocolate so today was a very successful shopping trip not only did I get my hands on some really really nice bits I also fully decided on a color scheme for the tree <laughs> just Teddy jumping around everywhere stop it just be a nice calm boy hey just be nice and calm and have a cuddle you don't need to be crazy all the time, ow. Yeah, when I was in the range, I collected the colors that I was thinking of doing in my basket and kind of like saw what they looked like together. Yeah, color scheme for this year is gonna be kind of like lots of different champagnes. So golds, nudes, whites, lots of different champagnes and then a pop of color, which I'm really excited about. Um, you guys know I was kind of like, I'm in an airing whether to do like a super traditional tree or whether to kind of stick to more of like a neutral vibe but I'm gonna mix the two um which I think will look really lovely so yeah I'm excited for that I'm gonna be decorating my tree very soon so stay tuned for that video but I just wanted to show you what I picked up um so from the range I got this gold one which I absolutely love so these baubles one pound fifty each which is amazing like literally I feel like the range is such an affordable Christmas decor shop and they have every single colour scheme. They have so many different baubles and just decorations in general. So I would really, really say it's worth going there. And I also as well picked up three of these ones and I guess these are going to be my more like statement baubles. Um, and then I'm thinking of keeping the rest quite plain. Then I'm going to have my pop of colour and then... I'm planning on doing some kind of like ribbon thing. I know what I mean, but it's really hard to explain. So I got some gold ribbon um, and I'm kind of planning on like, you guys will have to wait and see because it's so hard to try and explain, but I kind of want to like bunch it. Um, and then I got these, which I might return. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like them anymore. Um, but I picked up these little champagne bows, 
which I thought were cute at the time but I don't want the tree to look too busy. Then also the range had loads of really cute like Christmassy signs. Um, again, so affordable. So I picked up this one that says Merry Christmas, which I thought was cute. And I thought this could go on any shelves. It could kind of like sit on the console. Um, and I kind of liked just how plain it was. And this was literally £1.49, which is amazing. Then I didn't actually get anything from TK Maxx. Our TK Maxx is always super hit and miss. Um, so I didn't actually get anything from there. And I feel like I need to properly go through last year's Christmas decor before I buy a load more um, because I think I've I think I've very much got like a lot of stuff I know I've got a lot of stuff um, from when we moved we literally Jamie couldn't believe how much Christmas stuff I'd hoarded over the years but I feel like you're allowed to be a Christmas hoarder there's hoarding and then there's Christmas hoarding like they're two different things um but I got a few bits from Next Next was just magical they have such cute bits in there um there were so many things that I wanted but I was like you don't need that I was I feel like I was really good today and I didn't just buy things for the sake of buying things I got my festive spice reed diffusers they didn't have the big candles yet i feel like next we'll get more stuff um so if you are planning on going there maybe hold out sorry it's gone really bright the sun has just appeared through the very very gray cloud but yeah i'd probably say hold off going to next for maybe like another week or so because i think they're gonna get a lot more stuff in because they didn't have too much but the bits they had were really nice um, so I got two Festive Spice Reed Diffusers, this is one of my favourite Christmas scents, this and White Company Winter, so nice, like, they're just a very, <laughs> I want to say Christmassy scent, but I just feel like they, they're just the scent of Christmas, guys, you need something Festive Spice in your home, so I picked up the original one which has the red the red berries which i think would look really nice and then i also as well got the more neutral one which i don't think they had last year and i love this um so yeah very excited to put these out every part of me wants to do it now but i'm gonna save them for when i decorate then also from next i'm very very happy about this I love it so much. I've always wanted to find just a really lovely Christmas cushion. And I've never been able to. And I just think this is so nice. I love that it's like hessian. I love that it's got pops of red. Oh, I'm just so happy with it. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. It might go on the sofa in here. It might go oh, about to say on that little chair. But that won't be there because the Christmas tree will be there. Um, could go on the console where I already have like my autumn cushions um, and it was £18 and the reed diffuser sorry I forgot to tell you the price of those these were £15 each and then a few other bits that I didn't get today but they came this week um, a few other bits that I got online I got these stockings from Etsy I'll try and find a link for everything and leave it down below so I got two of these for each side of the fireplace love these they're like a really gorgeous hand knitted stocking then from duck's nest interior you guys know i got a lot of my autumn decor from there i just feel like it's like really different um and they always just have some really lovely bits so they are currently like getting bits of christmas in so i've been like checking every week to see what new bits they have but i got a few signs um so the first one i got was the farm fresh christmas trees i feel like signs are such a nice way to decorate your home without feeling like you've got a lot of stuff everywhere um i quite like to have quite a clear space and i don't like too much clutter so when i'm decorating for christmas or autumn i like to bear that in mind and just kind of like choose a few bits that are i don't know feel like they're not bits and bobs if that makes sense like i don't like a lot of ornaments or just like a lot of stuff everywhere um it makes my mind just feel like like really cluttered so i think these are such a nice way two you can pop them on like fireplaces you can pop them on windowsills you can pop them above doors and i just think they're a really nice way to decorate without feeling like there's a lot of clutter so i got this little one which i'm planning on putting on my shelves in the kitchen then i got two bigger ones now with one of these i didn't realize it was going to be this big so i'm gonna to have to find a home for this one but the first one i got was this it's gigantic this farm fresh christmas trees one which i just thought was really nice um 
Would this fit above a door? Absolutely not. This might be a porch one. The second one I got, I fell in love with. It was a little bit more expensive, but I just loved the words on it. Um, <laughs> at Christmas so you guys will know this if you have been with me for the past few Christmases but my mum does this thing where I feel like this is where my Christmas excitement comes from she'll ring me like throughout November and December randomly and <laughs> this sounds really funny but she'll either play Christmas songs down the phone or she'll read um like our favourite childhood Christmas books and this is one of the little poems that she always reads and I saw it and I was like I have to have that in my house I think I'm gonna put this one on the wall in the kitchen or maybe in here um just because I thought it was really cute and I love it so much it was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas would soon be there the children were nestled all snug in their beds whilst visitors of sugar plums danced in their heads. I just love it, I think it's so cute. So that's everything I picked up today and the deliveries that I had this week. I have got other stuff in the loft. Um, and this weekend, my job for this weekend is I am going to, actually I might do that on Monday. Either Sunday or Monday this weekend, I am gonna go up in the loft and kind of like, I don't even know where to start <laughs> sort out everything i kind of want to just like prep for christmas i want to take down all my autumn decor give the house a good clean um and kind of like get everything down at the loft and sort through what i'm going to be using this year um so yeah let me know if you'd like me to film that i could film that this weekend and that could be wednesday's video but let me know if you'd like to see kind of like a prep for christmas video before i decorate which i'm going to be doing next week so my christmas tree decorating video for this year will be live very soon i'm really excited for that um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me today. Let me know down below any specific Christmas videos you'd like to see because because there's going to be a lot of Christmas on my channel from here until the new year. That rhymes. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of your favourite annual videos come in. I've got my obviously decorating for Christmas video. I've got my gift guides, my Christmas morning routines. And yeah, this is just the coziest time of year and I'm really looking forward to I'm looking forward to like making new Christmas memories in this house obviously it's our first Christmas in this house so that's really exciting um and yeah right in times ahead make sure you are subscribed if you love Christmas as much as me and I will see you guys on Wednesday let me know if you'd like me to film the prepping for Christmas video and I'll get that done for so much for watching hope you're all having a lovely weekend and I'll see you in my next video Bye-bye.